We have to start doing things for the greater good of society and not for idiots who think that they can do their own research or that they are above the law and they can break the rules. Australia, Novak Djokovic, Australia said, no, 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 no. We're going to look at the greater good of everyone in our society, and you're not part of that. We when your decision yeah. affects the greater good, yeah. you can't yes. be put above that. Yeah. yeah. Well, they don't agree with that. They yeah. feel that their greater good is more important than your greater good. The people who are not getting vaccines, who are believing the lies on the Internet instead of science, it's time to start shaming them. What else? Or leave them behind. Because they are keeping the majority of Americans behind. I get the idea of creating a moral standard here. And really judging, being willing to judge and say things out loud. The question is, and I also get protecting the vulnerable. Kids under five can't get vaccinated. People who are older and maybe have medical conditions, even if they are vaccinated, are vulnerable. And I get acting in ways that make their lives safer. But by and large, if you're vaccinated and boosted, even if you get infected, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine here. It's the unvaccinated who are going to be hurt. So, so why should anyone who is boosted bother at this point to do anything that makes the unvaccinated more safe? I want us to act as a community. I want us to act as a team. When you're fighting a war, you need all hands on deck. I don't want to reject those who still haven't done the right thing. I'll condemn them. I'll shame them. I'll blame them. But I don't want to exclude them. They've got to come around. We can't win this war. We're going to be talking about COVID this time next year if we don't get more people to do the right thing. So we can't write them off. Mm. We can penalize them more. We can say, you're going to pay more on your hospital bill if you weren't vaccinated. You can't get life insurance or disability insurance at affordable rates if you aren't vaccinated. Those companies should not treat us as equals in terms of what the financial burdens are that that disease imposes. So I can think of a number of ways in which we should say, mm -hmm. here's the stick, get on board. At the same time, we do need everyone. It's a war. You got to have uh, all your troops unified if we're ever going to win it. Let's talk about what other countries are doing, because at some point, I feel like people who are willfully unvaccinated, fine, don't get vaccinated, but they need to start to pay a little bit more of the cost of what this is doing to our system. There are fines that, that, are, uh, that are levied in places like Germany. Germany has stopped paying for the tests, the virus tests for people who choose to be unvaccinated. They've ended quarantine pay for those without vaccinations. Ikea, the company, is slashing sick pay for unvaccinated UK workers. If you are a smoker, insurance companies can charge you more. They can charge you a premium of up to 50%, and you have to put that on the form when you apply for insurance. At some point, don't we have to make people who are just saying, I'm willing to take the risk to be unvaccinated, take the risk for me and take the risk for everyone I come in contact with. Shouldn't they have to pay more into the system because they are collapsing our health system? They're the ones in the ERs. They're taking it up. If you have a stroke or you have a heart attack, you can't get in the ER because they're taking up all the beds. So shouldn't they have to pay more?